when she was younger and she knows what Manchester's like. <laughs> Michael Wright and his sister Elizabeth wrote to the Queen at the time of her alleged remarks about their home city and listed all its attractions. Buckingham Palace replied immediately, telling them not to believe everything they read in the press. Now the children are hoping they'll get their chance to meet the Queen during today's visit. The Queen might not have come to Manchester to face the music, but she will be sure to make it clear that she is one of the city's most famous admirers. Ben McCarthy, ITN, Manchester. Uh, sport and speculation is growing that the Williams Grand Prix driver David Coulthard has been signed for the McLaren Formula One racing team. The 23-year-old Scott was promoted from his job as the Williams test driver after Ayrton Senna's death last season. But McLaren are reported to have moved in to sign him after Nigel Mansell's return left Coulthard on the sidelines. In the city a short time ago, the FT100 share index was down more than 35 points because of worries about interest rates. The pound was unchanged against the dollar. It was up a touch against the German mark. And the main news again. The passengers and crew from the stricken liner, the Achille Laro, are beginning the first leg of their journey home. And the government has finally set a date for talks to begin with Sinn Féin. They'll open next Wednesday at Stormont. And that's all from Thursday's lunchtime news. From the two of us, goodbye. Bye-bye. Well, good afternoon. Well, it's been another quite grey morning in many places, but there are some signs of the odd bit of brightness in the south, and for most of us, there was more gloomy weather to come. Things begin to change through tomorrow and through the weekend with bands of wet and windy weather spreading east. As all in the future, let's come back to this afternoon. Most central and eastern parts are still grey, still misty, the odd patch of fog lingering along that east coast there. Things are somewhat brighter down to the south already, and you'll find that brighter weather just very slowly nudging its way northwards, perhaps into the Midlands and parts of East Anglia. Most places still dry, though you might find the odd shower up near this western coast. The best of the sunshine today is where it's been for the past few days, right up there in the Murray Firth area. Temperatures well on the east coast with a wind off the North Sea, quite disappointing, around 8 degrees Celsius. Generally speaking, though, 10 to 12 sums it up for most of the country as 50 to about 54. Now, things are all set to change through tomorrow after a grey start, things brightening up. Then we watch this band of cloud and outbreaks of rain as it works its way in across many western parts and the winds pick up towards gale force, especially in the west. There are new contracts for the nurses in Shortland Street next. You'll find us now in Shortland Street. Whatever they're paying you, it's not enough. I know, but I'm about to sign up for another 12 months. Mm, make sure you get a good deal. Actually, I've done very well. Carrie's just got her contract, and from what she says, it's a good deal. <laughs> She's no pushover. Why? So maybe my worries were unfounded. Mm, let's hope. What the hell? What's happened to penal rates? Down the dunny, same as maternity leave. It's crazy. I don't believe this. We're supposed to do general nursing duties as well as theatre. Do you know what's happened here? She sold us out. Yeah, but who was the one who told us to cooperate with her? And has just landed a hot new contract. Burton. 